Hi everyone, thank you for joining our session today focusing on Product Opportunity Explorer, specifically go-to-market strategies. My name is Yas and I'm on the Seller University team. Our presenters will be Julia and Spencer, who are growth consultants at Amazon. So with that, I'll transition over to our presenters to get started. Have a good one. Hi everyone, I'm Julia and I'm a growth consultant on the Seller Growth and Development team here at Amazon. For those joining us today for the first time, let's quickly cover what the Product Opportunity Explorer tool is. It's a tool that can help you better understand customer demand and generate new product or offer ideas. The tool gives you insight into Amazon customer search and purchase behavior, which you can use to identify unmet customer demand and engagement opportunities with new products or offers. The tool gives you up-to-date data on customer needs and current selection across the Amazon store using niches, which are collections of such customer search terms and products that represent specific customer needs. You can access the tool from the Seller Central main menu by hovering over the Growth tab and selecting Product Opportunity Explorer. In this session, we'll go over some go-to-market strategies to help take you from your product research to your product launch. Let's cover some ways you can use niches to optimize advertising campaigns and detail pages and help make decisions about your inventory and fulfillment. For most of the strategies we'll be covering today, the first step will be to select a relevant category or search term related to your ASIN and look for a niche in which your product would make the most sense. Exactly how you browse or search is going to depend on your business and your goals when using the tool. So let's start by focusing on some strategies you can use for search term analysis to optimize ad campaigns and product listings. You can use Product Opportunity Explorer to find search terms for top competitors products that you may want to consider. So to start, find a relevant niche by either searching or browsing. So you can either do that by browsing the find opportunities by category menu or entering a search term in the find opportunities by search bar. In this case, I'm going to enter the search term popcorn. So I see a few different types of niches that come up. Popcorn is the first, we know that's going to be a more generic niche. So I want to look for a niche with search volume growth that's pretty significant. So I think I see popcorn butter here. And what's interesting about this is it has a pretty high search volume, but it's also increased um, over 30% over both the past 90 days and the, and the past 360 days. So I'm going to click on popcorn butter. This will default to the niche's products tab, and you can keep it sorted by click share in descending order. Find an ASIN you're interested in, and in the search terms tab, use the top three clicked products here to see which search terms the ASIN in question appears on. You can also use brand analytics to help find search terms. Note that brand analytics is only available to sellers registered with Amazon brand registry. Open the search terms report and enter the competitor ASIN in the report search box. You can choose quarterly, monthly, weekly, and e or even daily from the reporting range drop-down menu and see the search terms that appear with low search frequency rank which indicates high search volume. Analyze these search terms to determine if they'd be a good fit for your comparable product, either by optimizing ad campaigns or detail pages. Product Opportunity Explorer also can help you identify low converting search terms with lower competition. So after browsing or searching for a relevant niche like we did with popcorn butter, you can select the search terms tab, which we are currently on already, uh, and sort by search conversion rate in ascending order. For search terms with low conversion, open the detail pages for the top-clicked products to investigate optimization opportunities. 
Look to see where the search terms show up on the detail page. For instance, are they in the title or bullet points? Are they in promoted within the description or A plus content? When you've identified search terms that you believe your products could better serve the need for, you can also run ad campaigns targeting these keywords. Similarly, identifying terms with high conversion and low competition can help you quickly optimize your ad campaigns and detail pages. Sort the search term section of a relevant niche, which we're using popcorn butter still, so we're already on the search terms tab. And look for terms with both high search volume, so we can double click search volume, and we have it in descending order, and search conversion rate. Enter your selected search term in the search terms report section of brand analytics and export the data and add up the total click share percentage and the total conversion share percentage for the top three products to find the overall competition for a search term. Adding these high conversion, low competition search terms to your ad campaigns and product listings can help you optimize for how customers are searching for products like yours. You can find inspiration for search terms in the search terms tab of a relevant niche. Look for relevant terms with high search volume and high conversion rate to identify terms with high customer demand. For example, here we can see that butter spray is clearly important to customers. They have high search conversion rate. And even though the search volume varies from high to low, we can see that there's a commonality between all of these search terms that have butter spray or spray butter in them. You can use these terms to optimize both ad campaigns and detail pages for relevant products. If you have access to brand analytics, open the search terms report and enter the selected term. Again, you can choose quarterly, monthly, weekly, or even daily from the reporting range drop-down menu. Choose the same time frame from the prior year, and you can show a year-over-year -year comparison of the same search terms. If you don't have access to brand analytic, you can use the top three clicked products here and look for ASINs with low competition by checking their click share in the product section of the niche. High click share and low conversion share could also indicate an opportunity to fill unmet customer demand. Search volume metrics can also help you plan inventory levels. After selecting a relevant niche, choose the search terms tab again, and look for terms related to product variations like size, color, quantity. Here we can see butter spray, spray butter is clearly an important aspect of this niche. Use these metrics to get a better sense of customer demand for your products at the variation level and adjust your inventory levels accordingly. Now let's look at some more options for detail page optimization. Once you've found a relevant niche, select the product section again and view the included product detail pages in the Amazon store. Explore these detail pages, see what these sellers may be doing differently, and think about how you can apply this to your own listings. Browsing the product listings for a relevant niche can help give you a clearer picture of what customers are responding to in a niche. You can also sort the product section by average customer rating from low to high. Open the detail pages for ASINs with low ratings and analyze the customer feedback. You may find immediate opportunities for you to improve on the experience being provided. You can also look at the detail pages for top reviewed products to better understand what features customers are responding to. Additionally, you can use the new customer reviews insights feature to identify top positive and top negative features and how these impact star rating at both the niche and the ASIN level. For example, we can see that positive reviews, the top, 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 top topics are taste and flavor, both for positive and negative. Over 50% of 
of customer reviews mentioned taste and flavor as positive, and a little over 40% mentioned it as negative. You can also see the impact on star rating here by product aspect. So this is going to show you the impact that a topic or a product aspect has on overall star rating from one on a scale from one to five for both the top 25% of products in the niche and for the total niche. Let's talk a bit about how you can use Product Opportunity Explorer data to understand seasonality and trends to help audit your catalog for growth opportunities. Understanding niche seasonality can also help you strategize for new launches and prepare for high traffic seasons. So once you've selected that relevant niche, select the Trends tab and choose search volume and search conversion rate, which are already selected here. These will appear on the line graph. Identify the highest points of volume and conversion. If you find noticeable spikes, you may wanna create your shipping plan accordingly and ship inventory to our fulfillment centers at least four to six weeks prior to these annual spikes. You can also use trends you've identified to adjust your advertising budgets and bids in preparation for seasonal spikes in traffic. We see here that search volume actually spiked at the beginning of August, but search conversion rate was actually at an all-time low. Then on the other hand, at the end of August, search volume declined and search conversion rate was at an all-time high. So you can use data points like these to understand the dynamics of a niche. You can explore opportunities based on your current selection using product targeting sponsored products and sponsor display ads. Start by opening the Seller Central main menu, hovering over reports and selecting business reports. Next, select the detail page sales and traffic report for an ASIN level view. Depending on your goals, download either the 90 day or a 360 day report. Export the report and sort by ordered product sales in descending order. You can look for ASINs with high order product sales and unit session percentage metrics. Find the star reading and current prices for the ASINs you've identified. And next, navigate back to Product Opportunity Explorer and look for niches where these ASINs identified would fit. Select the product section or tab of a niche and sort by average customer view or customer rating in ascending order. With this strategy, you're looking for products with a lower customer rating, fewer customer reviews, and a higher average selling price. When you identify a comparable product with a lower rating at a higher price, you can target this opportunity with a product targeting ad campaign. Product Opportunity Explorer can also help you identify opportunities for a new Prime offer. Information on Prime can be located in the Insights tab with the percent of prime products metric. If you ship using FBA, look for niches with a low percentage of prime products over the past 360 days. If you self ship orders, you'll also wanna look for niches with a low overall percentage of prime products as prime may not be necessary to be successful in this space. In the popcorn butter niche, we can clearly see that prime is pretty much a requirement to be successful and we see that over the past year, it's been over 90%, even being 100% about a year ago. The tool can also help you get an overall sense of sales expectations in a particular space. This can be helpful when you're looking to understand how much inventory is right for your Amazon business. You can start by opening the Seller Central main menu then hover over inventory and select manage inventory. Next, select manage inventory health and click download report. Sort the report by column labeled estimated excess quantity to identify products with excess inventory. Next, search for product types or niches within Product Opportunity Explorer that this excess inventory could fall into. 
Once you've found a relevant niche, compare your inventory levels with the average unit sold metric. Remember, this metric is the average unit sold per top product for the past 360 days. So to find a monthly estimate, you'll have to divide this metric by 12. This strategy can also help you find unexpected categories or niches to help move your excess inventory. Thank <laughs> you.